that this is to honor my husband and all that he sacrificed. And so the fact that it's the Recon Raider community is really, really special for me. I don't think there are words that hold enough weight to, to be able to explain how thankful I am. These guys are brothers, right, from the beginning, really. It's, you know, the, the common bond, uh, not only the motorcycles, but the military service and the respect for the country. And yeah, it's uh, fulfilling. It's the guts and it's the glory. A hundred stripes, a hundred stories. It's the Pledge of Allegiance on the 4th of July. It's them handwritten letters from home. It's them sleepless nights alone. It's his newborn baby he left with his wife. Mr. Red, White, and Blue. They were jumping into a four-day patrol. He landed in the water and he became unconscious upon landing and ultimately drowned. Him and six team members were on board with the KC-130 crew. The uh, inboard propeller on engine two came apart and severed the fuselage and the aircraft disintegrated at 20,000 feet. These two communities have lost over 15 guys in the last 12 months. These are the people that are sacrificing. Give him a curl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I trust them and believe them when they say they're going to be there forever. It's helping. Every, every day, every second. I'm so grateful. And it's a wonderful feeling. I don't think people realize the importance of what these men do. They can't take his place, but they sure have softened the blow that that accident caused. It's really what I needed. Ready to afford hard grass for the falling. Freedom is definitely not free.